Hello, I am DS Productions 19 and this is Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX Part 10. Now last time we went through most of Key Cavern, and this time we will finish it off. So start by going over here. Where the in the room in the room with the teleporting guys. And you can defeat them any way you want, but since I do not have bombs right now, as you can see there. I will charge a spin attack and then get them when they appear, like that. You can also get them with the Pegasus boots if you really want to. And grab the key and go through the door on the top. And then this room, just defeat all the enemies. And there's a treasure chest. Dawn, Guardian Eagle. Oh well. Um, after you beat all the enemies, go up through the door. And pick up this pot. Then jump and get the bombs. Sorry, um, for some weird reason I like to order things. Sometimes. And then defeat the bomb guys. Wow, I got lucky. It usually takes like two tries on each. Oh well. Um, go this way to see the layout of the next of a few rooms we will be going to really quickly or really shortly. Um, note that the bomb guys are green and they're different from the red ones. I'll show you what, how later. And then also note this room because it's very important to the completion of the dungeon. And here's a treasure chest we made appear earlier. And I do think that 50 rupees is very nice. Just go back down here and beat the enemies. And I'm being attacked by gels. Beat these guys if you want to. And then go here. Put a bomb at the where the arrow is. Go down, place the bomb at the bottom of the wall, beat the guy, whoa, I just dodged an arrow, beat the guys, pick up the pots for some health, and attach the pegasus boots and the rock's feather, so you can run and jump over the pit, and up here you can just jump, you don't have to run, but you can if you want to, and here's the nightmare's key, so yeah, we're all th three minutes in. We're already we already have the nightmares key, so we can almost fight the boss. Now these guys are much different from the red ones. I'll show you in a second. Um, I'm going to beat the Zoles first. Uh, as you can see, they follow you around. So basically, um, you hit them with your sword, and then. They follow you around, like so, and then they count down three, two, one, and then they blow up. So what you can either do is um, make them follow you and then drop a bomb right in front of you so that it blows up and then they drop a bomb too, or you can hit them with your sword and they fly away before, um, right before they blow up, and then here's the compass. So put a bomb on the wall, and then I am going to get this piece of power because I feel like I, I don't know, I just want to. And then, you guys, whoa, did you just see that? The guy blew up right on the tile where the key was, where the key falls down, like right there. It's, it was cool. But under here is always a fairy. Under these, nothing. And everyone's back. I don't know why the game does that, so it's really annoying. But, ow. Anyway, we... 
at this point in time, we can fight the boss if we really wanted to. But I'm gonna show you a few treasure chests that we can get close. Wrong way. But we need to get first. First, go up here. Don't worry about the key. Just to beat the enemies, and the other one will fall down. And you hit the switch. Um. In these rooms, there it's just like the other one. Just a bunch of enemies. When you beat them all, a key falls down. And here's the first treasure chest that you can get with the after hitting the crystal switch. And beat these guys. Beat all these guys too. Then in here is the other treasure chest. Up. At last, yeah. For once, it's actually true. We got it like right near the end. As you can see, it looks like two keys, a big one and a small one. So yeah, that's just how this weapon does its dungeons. It models the maps after the name of the dungeon. But uh, run through this, the Chris. The weird crystal things. Beat the gel. And then go back around. And here's 200 rupees. Yes, I am very ecstatic. And you probably are too. If you're playing long. Which I really hope that you are. Because it's a really great game. Darn. Didn't get that. But it's a really great game. And. Um, uh, I think I'm doing pretty well with doing this LP. I mean, I'm doing. I'm getting things as. Bas basically, as early as you can. But none of this guy falls down. I'm getting things as early as you can. And, um, I'm doing 100% as much as possible. So, yeah, I hope that you're playing along. But, here, just to beat these guys, basically just do what I did, it's a lot quicker. And in here, you heard that tone, that means that there's a key here for some odd reason. And it's, the, it's the room right before the, the dungeon boss, which is so weird. Don't know why Nintendo would do that. But, um, if you need health, there's some flying hearts. And it's three health, three hearts. And so, now it's time to fight the boss. Put on the Pegasus boots. And I apparently missed the dialogue because I pressed the start button. Which is on. Basically, just keep slashing in in the middle and ram into him. Uh, and he separates. Then hit them with your sword and they, and they jump upward. And then, before they hit the ground, you have to jump with the rock's feather or else you will fall down. And that was really quickly because I had the piece of power. But here's another heart container. If you have been following my LP, you should have seven. Er, yeah, seven hearts now. Here's the Sea Lily's Bell. Listen to some awesome 8 or 16 bit music. Yeah. Sounds cool. Waterfall is hidden in the waterfall. Well, we're about out of time, so I'm DS Productions 19, and this has been Let's Play Legends of the Link's Awakening DX Part 10. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.